Welcome everybody to this webinar on VMware monitoring with OP5 Monitor. My name is Michael and I will moderate this webinar. Today's presenter is Oscar Ritzel, a technical sales engineer at OP5. Oscar has almost 10 years experience as a service technician with main focus on Linux environments. Oscar will show you what VMware monitoring in OP5 Monitor looks like and how you can get started with and increase your level of VMware monitoring. Before we get started, some housekeeping rules. If you have any problems, just send a message in the chat and I will assist you. There will be a Q&A session at the end of the presentation to answer any questions you might have. You can send your questions in the chat window in the left part of your any meeting screen. If you have maximized any meeting, you might have to click the icon with four arrows to make the chat window visible again. A recording of the entire webinar will be made available and you are welcome to share the recording with your colleagues. Just to get a feeling, for what the audience for this webinar looks like, I'd like to show you two diagrams. From the people who registered, one third has limited or no VMware monitoring today. 25% say that they have okay VMware monitoring, but in separate systems and are looking to collect all monitoring in a single pane of glass. And the largest, largest group already monitor on host level, but want to monitor on a vSphere or cluster level. All three groups will get at least a few things that they can be used to improve monitoring today. So I'm looking forward to this webinar. So let's look at which VMware versions are most uh, common. Uh, almost 50% is mainly using VMware 6. 20% use 5 and the rest have a mix, mixed environment. All right, so that's it from me. Oscar, take it away. So let's start with uh, the basic monitoring of your VMware environment. Uh, as we showed, uh, we can um, monitor at both hosts, we can monitor the cluster and data center, and we can also monitor singular uh, virtual machines through the vCenter. So if we start off um, for a host, we have the basic with the CPU usage of a single host. We have network usage for receiving and sending. We have host memory usage, we can also do input output for the hard drives read latency and write latency. There are some general runtime issues if you have any configuration issues reported by VMware. And we have a general status uh, of the overall system. If we go down here, we can see that we can also perform a cluster wide to see on all the hosts within the cluster, the CPU usage, every data store that's available. It's also possible to specify the, the data stores you want to monitor. The input and output read and write to the data stores. We list the host and see that every host is up and running. The virtual machines that are running in your cluster, the memory usage, network usage, some runtime issues also here, but on a cluster level and the same with the status and also swap usage for the memory. We can also do specific or for a specific virtual machine, the CPU usage. We can check for VMware tools if it's running and if, what, if it's on the latest version. As you can see here, I have not running because I uninstalled the open VM tools on this virtual machine. We can check if we have memory overhead and how much, the memory usage of the virtual machine, and the network receive and send. And we also have a runtime all information to get the status of, of the general from this virtual machine. 
to quickly get started with your monitoring, the quickest way would be using our host wizard and the management pack for VMware. So here we have a standalone VMware ESXi virtualization host. And if you specify the password and username, we give it a host name we want inside of VMware, inside of Monk File Monitor, I'm sorry, and an IP address. We save this. And what we have is the general information of, of this host. We have the CPU memory, input output for read and write, runtime health, issues, and status. And to expand on this, I want to show you that we have plenty of predefined commands for VMware to check both data centers, single virtual machines, and specific hosts. And that's all I had to show today. Thank you. Back to you, Michael. A question here, Oscar. The host monitoring you showed, does it require an agent like SNMP or NRP? No, the agent uses the VMware's API. So no agent for SNMP or NRP is needed for the host, vCenter, or the virtual machines. Is it possible to retrieve the host on which a virtual machine is running, Oscar? Um, as of today, I don't know a possible way to find out which host the virtual machine is running on. Um, no. So next question is, when monitoring an ESXi host, the overall status check just shows a general error message, green or red. Is it possible to find any exceptions to get a more detailed view of, of what exactly causes an error? Not without going into the VMware environment, I believe, no. Next question is, do I need Ed to install anything to use the VMware monitoring or does it work out of the box? So for the plugin to work, you need to install VMware Perl SDK on your OPFI monitor server where the plugin is run from. And I recommend that you always install the latest version of VMware S uh, Perl SDK. Uh, even if you have a mixed environment, the Perl SDK is backward compatible with version four and six of ESXi and the vCenter. And next we have, is VCSA 6.5 supported? Do you know that, Oscar? So we don't have an official support for version six and above, but and there are some known issues with a few of the checks. Uh, the majority of the checks do work as is with the plugin, and in the demo environment that I just show you, uh, I am querying the version 6.5 of both vCenter and ESXi. So the majority of the checks do work for them, but there are a few of them that doesn't work. And our uh, development team are working to get the full support for version 6 as well. All right, it seems we have covered all the questions you guys had. And if you have any more questions, you are, of course, welcome to send an email to our support team, and they will be happy to help you out. Um, so that's it for today. Thanks for attending. And a link to the recording of this webinar will be sent to you within a few days. You are welcome to share the recording with your colleagues if you have someone who is also interested in VMware monitoring. When you exit any meeting, there will be a survey, and this is entirely optional, but we do appreciate if you take the time to give us feedback. Thanks again, and have a nice day.